What's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you through an ankle mobility routine. So if you're a runner and you want more flexible, mobile, but stable ankles, or if you're just into lifting weights or doing any other movement stuff, then hopefully this one is going to help you out. So when we have issues in the ankle, this can have a massive knock-on effect on the rest of our body. For example, I've got a long-term ankle clicky thing, some weakness and instability, and that has had a knock-on effect on my pelvis, which then has creeped up through the rest of my back too. So today I'm going to share with you some of the exercises that I do regularly to help remedy that. Let's get stuck in. So we're going to start things off with just some basic mobilizations, taking the ankles through inversion and eversion. So if you need to hold on to something to do this, then that's no problem at all. Just slowly back and forth, extending that range of motion. Might notice a difference from side to side, and that's completely fine. So, Number two, we're going to do a little foot sequence. So we're going to start with a calf stretch, go into that dorsiflexion. Then we're going to stub the toes into the floor. Then we're going to go into that plantar flexion, stretching the top of the foot. Just go through that sequence a few times. You might have seen this one as a part of the hero warm up my full body mobility routine, if that's something you've done. Okay, we'll go to the other foot. So, calf stretch, stub the foot, stub the toes, and then plantar flexion. Nice and simple. This next bit is a little bit different, it looks a bit strange and might seem a bit counterintuitive. We're going to do some walking drills where we're strengthening the ankles but we're also taking them out of alignment a little bit. This is something I picked up from Edo Portal. The idea is that if we can build a little bit of strength outside our normal range of motion then we're going to be building stronger more mobile joints that will potentially be a bit safer and less prone to injury. So with these next exercises, I really want you to be, be careful and be mindful. They can put quite a lot of stress on your ankle joints and on your knees potentially. So I highly advise that you use a wall or a stick to help take some of the weight if this is the first time you've done it. If you start to feel any discomfort, something really doesn't feel right, then just, just back off um, and have a play with those stretches that we, we just done. So we're going to start by some simple walking. So we're up on the toes and we're just going to walk forwards and then walk back. And again. So we're going to go on to the heels for the next one. I'm going to use a stick to help me balance. Um, and if you've got anything like that, a broom or something, then that can come in handy too. So we're going back onto the heels and then slowly, as controlled as we can, walk in. Next one we're going to invert through the ankle, so be careful with this one and I definitely suggest using the wall or the stick for this to take some of that weight. We're going to roll those ankles outwards and we're slowly walking.
Next, we're going to play with eversion, so collapsing the ankles in the other way. Again, use that stick, take it easy, there's no rush. So we're collapsing in like that and kind of waddling forward. So a little bit different. The idea is that by practicing those positions and then loading through those positions now and again, that we can build a little bit more resilience in our joints. If we do twist an ankle when we're out, maybe that wouldn't necessarily lead to a catastrophic injury compared to if we hadn't been doing any mobility work and our joint is not used to going out of alignment. A few habits for general ankle and foot health. One is to, to just make sure you're, you're warming up your feet and your, your ankles before you do anything active. So if you're going out for a hard run or you're just training in the gym. So we'll often prioritize the big ones like our hips or our shoulders. But if we could maybe add a few of these exercises in for our ankles and our feet before our training, could make a big difference. The last thing is footwear. I'm a big fan of kind of barefoot minimalist type shoes. I'm not saying everyone should wear those but it's maybe worth considering your choice of footwear and how that impacts the health of your feet. So what we often find is that if we can kind of transition to a shoe that's zero drops, there's not much of a heel, a bit of a thinner sole and a wider toe box, more space for those toes, is that the foot and the ankle has to do more of the work as opposed to big cushioned high heeled shoes that protect the foot and almost act like a cast sometimes. We can maybe be barefoot more often and maybe think about transitioning to some of those more minimal footwear, more minimal shoes. That can potentially have a, a positive impact on our foot and ankle health longer term. So hope you enjoyed this routine, a little bit different. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if you've got any questions then just, just let me know as well and I'll get back to you if I have anything that I think might be useful. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe if you want more videos from me and you want to stay up to date and support the channel. I'll be back soon, stay healthy, mobile, heroic and all that good stuff.